I grew up believing that diabetes was in my genetics. There's nothing I could do about this. I just have to brace for impact. All of my brothers and sisters, with the exception of one sister, has battled with diabetes. But I look back now to the foods we ate. When you look at this whole slew of devastation that has crippled my family in so many different ways, it really boils down to, you know, the food. It's the food. When I was growing up, I was always a little bigger than most of the other uh, males my age, and I loved football. So I had the fortunate opportunity to play football, and ultimately that earned me a football scholarship at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. I was a big guy. I'm, I'm 6'2", and in college, uh, I played at about 305 pounds. And I grew up believing that I needed protein. I need protein and I need steak and I need chicken and so and I believe that and of course I was big and strong I was eating a lot of I was eating like an ox uh, but the bottom line was you know after after my college playing days were over 12 years later I was diagnosed uh, with diabetes. I saw what his family members went through because of diabetes and um, it was like the, there was a big storm coming. Our future looked dark, honestly. Like, like we didn't have hope. Um, I thought that it was just in his genes and that was our destiny and that I just had to make the best of it. So I'm taking insulin shots twice a day. I'm taking multiple medications for all these conditions. And on top of that, as time went on, I developed psoriasis all over my scalp. I was overweight. I developed erectile dysfunction. And again, being a big macho football player, I thought that you know I was invincible, big and strong, and everything was gonna be great. Well, once you develop erectile dysfunction, it is deflating as a man to not be able to go and make love to, I have a beautiful wife. I know a lot of people, a lot of guys that I talk to, they'll come to me and they'll say, hey, you know, I got that issue too. Hey, you know, and, and really what's happening is, you know, your arteries are clogging. Your, the, the artery to your private parts is clogging. And the issue with that is that the other arteries are clogging as well. The arteries around your coronary, your heart, your coronary arteries, your carotid arteries, those are clogging as well. And so it's only a matter of time before that stroke and that heart attack happen. And so that's the bigger issue. That's the big train wreck that we need to avoid. And, and I say that and I share it openly because a lot of guys don't want to talk about this. They're embarrassed and I get it because I was embarrassed too. I don't want to go tell people my business, right? Who does? There's an estimate that 40 to 50% of males over the age of 40 struggle with ED. So many guys think they're going to pop a pill, they can go have sex and life is great, but they're masking that bigger problem. And that bigger problem is the train wreck that's around the corner and that's the heart attack and the stroke. And so something had to change. I did not want to be caught in a position where I wasn't going to be able to see my daughter get married. And I want to see my, my grandkids and I want to see my great grandkids. And I don't want to be, uh, God forbid, in a nursing home or not able to get up and go and enjoy those times with my family and my loved ones. So I knew at that point that I needed to make a change and uh, that's when my wife and I adopted a whole food plant-based lifestyle. I was on medications for a decade, for 10 years, and only getting worse every single year as time went on. Well, we adopt this lifestyle, and in two months, I was off all five of my medications. In three months, I had shed 50 pounds, which took me down to 210 pounds. And oh, by the way, that was what I weighed in seventh grade. 13 years old was the last time I weighed what I weigh today, and I'm 51. So, uh, you know, I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life here and I'm the oldest I've ever been. How is that happening? It's the food. And what we did was we actually adopted a whole food plant-based lifestyle. So we eliminated all the animal products. We eliminated the oils out of our diet. And we were sticking now to really four main food groups. And that's all the fruits, all the vegetables, all the grains, and all the legumes in any shape or form. 
Uh, we, we, instead of cooking with oil, we will steam them, we'll use veggie broth, we'll bake foods, anything we can, but uh, you don't need the oils. Oils are 100% fat. And all these foods, when you look at them, they are just loaded and jam-packed with vitamins, with fiber, with minerals, with phytonutrients, all of the greatness that will help your bodies thrive. These machines, these amazing machines that we all own, and they're devoid and don't have any of the cholesterol, and for the most part, no saturated fat. They don't have any growth hormones, no antibiotics, a lot of this that you find in the animal foods. When I look at the changes that I went through, I was able to reverse my type two diabetes, reverse my um, high blood pressure, reverse my high cholesterol, my erectile dysfunction is gone, my psoriasis is gone, my obesity is gone, and I feel full of life. I'm 51 years old and I feel like I am literally in the best shape of my life at this point. And uh, what's amazing is when you look at my lifestyle, my transformation, here I am seven years into this lifestyle now, and I know they say never say never, but I am never going back to eating the way I used to eat, which was a lot of the animal foods and a lot of oils. I'm eliminating those foods I have for seven years now and I never see myself going back because I feel too damn good now. So if you want to be a real man, if you want to take care of your family, take care of yourself because your family doesn't need you to go have a stroke or a heart attack and then have to take care of you. So be a real man, take care of yourself and take care of your family. And it's not coming through a pill, it's going to come through the foods you eat.